let us analyze a few MOSFET circuits operating in DC. I will be solving a few problems for you through this lecture and I will be asking you to pause at various places and think about the solution yourselves. Do the exercises faithfully. I think it will be of help. Let us uh, start with this problem. In this problem, uh, we are asked to design the circuit so that a specified value of the drain current and a specified value of the drain voltage is reached. What we mean by designing the circuit is essentially, in this case, calculating the drain resistance and the source resistance. The values of the constants are given. The first step to solving such problems is to determine the mode of operation of the MOSFET. Is the MOSFET operating in the triode region? Is it operating in the saturation region? Or is it operating in the cutoff region? To determine whether the MOSFET is working in the triode region or in the saturation region, we compare VGD, that is the voltage between the gate and the drain, and the threshold voltage. In this case, VGD equal to VG, that is the gate voltage, minus the drain voltage, which is VD. Of course, as we can see from the diagram, the gate voltage is zero because the gate is grounded and the drain voltage is equal to Vt. Therefore, Vgd turns out to be minus Vt. Since our target is to design a circuit such that the drain voltage is plus 0.5 volts, minus Vd, which will be equal to minus 0.5, is less than the threshold voltage and therefore our circuit is operating in the saturation mode. Once we have determined that our circuit is working in the saturation mode, we look, we write the appropriate equation for the drain current as shown in the slide. In this equation, we know the drain current because it is given as a design parameter to us. We know the constant, which is the process transconductance parameter. We have also been given the aspect ratio of the MOSFET. The threshold voltage of the MOSFET is also known. The voltage VGS can be written as a difference of the gate voltage and the source voltage that is Vg minus Vs. The gate voltage is known because the gate is grounded and Vg is equal to zero. The source voltage is however not known. Therefore the voltage Vgs is not known. In the equation for the drain current all values except for Vgs are known and we are going to use this equation to calculate the value of Vgs and therefore Vs, that is the source voltage. Once we have the value of Vs, that is the source voltage, we calculate the values of the drain resistance Rd and the source resistance Rs. It is quite straightforward to see that the drain resistance and the source resistance are given by the equations on the screen. You can apply a simple uh, K, uh, KVL to get these equations. Why don't you now pause, solve for the source voltage and then solve for the drain resistance and the source resistance. The values of the parameters to be calculated are given in the left hand of the screen. 
I hope you got the right results. Let us look at another problem. In this problem also, you are given the value of the drain current and you are asked to calculate the values of the resistance and the drain voltage. Some of the constants involved in the calculations are given on the screen. As in the previous case, the first step here is to determine the mode of operation of the MOSFET. Why don't you think about this problem and try to see whether you can figure out what mode the MOSFET will be operating in. To determine the mode of operation of the MOSFET, let us compare VGD and the threshold voltage. The voltage VGD will be equal to VG minus VD. Of course, from the diagram we can see that VG and VD are the same because the drain and the gate are connected and therefore VGD will be equal to 0 which will be less than the threshold voltage which is given to be 0.6 volts and therefore our circuit is operating in the saturation mode. Next we write the appropriate equation for the drain current that is the equation for the drain current corresponding to the saturation mode operation of the MOSFET. The drain current in this case has been given to us as a design parameter. We know the values of the following constants. Vgs as usual can be written as Vg minus Vs. We know the source voltage because the source is connected to the ground, therefore the source voltage is zero. The gate voltage, however, we do not know. All we know about the gate voltage is that it is equal to the drain voltage. We will use this equation, therefore, to calculate for VGS, which is going to be equal to VD or VG. After calculating for the value of the drain voltage VD, we can calculate the value of R by a very simple KVL equation. Why don't you solve for the drain voltage and the resistance R? Of course, it's no rocket science to figure out that R is given by the equation on the screen. If you didn't get the solution the first time without the formula, I hope now you will be able to get the solution to both getting the drain voltage and the value of the resistance. The solution is given on the screen and I hope and I hope that you got the right answers. Okay, let's try solving a slightly different kind of a problem. Here, instead of a N MOSFET, we have a P MOSFET. Notice that for a P MOSFET, the threshold voltage is negative. The gate voltage needs to be lower than the threshold voltage for a channel to be induced. You can look up the equations for a P MOSFET in your textbook. So in this problem, we have to design the circuit such that the values of the drain current and the drain voltage are as specified. It's also given to us that the MOSFET is operating in saturation. I think the easiest step in this problem is to calculate the drain resistance. It should be fairly straightforward. Why don't you go ahead and try doing it? Since we know that the transistor is working in the saturation mode, we can write the equation for the drain current in the saturation mode for the MOSFET. And in this equation, we know the constants. We know the drain current. The value VGS is given by VG minus VS. You can see from the diagram that Vs is equal to 
5 volts while the value of Vg is unknown. We will use uh, this equation for the drain current to evaluate Vgs and therefore the gate voltage. What we want to do is to calculate the gate voltage and once we know the gate voltage because no current flows into the gate we can calculate Rg1 and Rg2 which just act like a voltage divider circuit. You will not get a unique value for Rg1 and Rg2. You will have to choose any value that satisfies a particular condition. Why don't you try solving for the gate voltage and the values of the resistances Rg1 and Rg2. The solution for the problem is on the screen. We have chosen Rg1 to be 2 mega ohms and Rg2 to be 3 mega ohms. You can verify that if Rg1 and Rg2 are in the ratio of 2 is to 3, it does not matter what the exact values of Rg1 and Rg2 are. I hope the video enables you to start off looking at different circuits, MOSFET circuits. We will solve a few more problems in the class and hopefully you will become familiar with solving these circuits. See you.